Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go over a few more features of JotForm. Specifically, we're going to show you guys how you can change the font and design of your words, or any words that might appear on your JotForm. So, as we usually start, let's just open one of our forms where we want to edit that. Okay, so as you can see, our form at the moment is pretty generic, pretty plain, not much design to it, nothing really eye-catching. We're here to kind of like show you how to change that. So let's just head over to the right side of our page. If you can see this blue little button, it's called Form Designer and has a little paint tool on it. If you were to click that, a menu should appear on your right side where you can kind of start messing with the fonts and other aspects of Form Designer. So in this case, as you can see, we can change the colors or the color scheme in this case. And if you want to get more specific, these color schemes on the top are kind of just like templates. You can actually be more specific with which colors you want to change them into. So page color, form color, you can even change font color. Let's just make this white so you can't see anything at the moment. I make it blue actually. Okay, change the font color. What you can also do is change the styles. So if you would hit styles and head around, this is now where you can kind of change things about the text in your jot form. So in this case, you can change the form width, label alignment, question spacing, label width. And here's where it gets interesting. We can mess around with font style. So as you can see, it's like a pretty decent amount of fonts already available under font. So you just have to click on whichever one you want. And as you can see, it immediately translates to any of the text on your form. So let's just pick one that's easy to read. Okay. There's also another way where you can start changing these features, specifically for the colors and styles. If you head down to the bottom of the styles page, you're going to see a button called Advanced Designer. If you were to click this, you'd be brought to a new page for the Advanced Form Designer, where you can then start changing more specific aspects of the color scheme and other issues about the font. So in this case, as you can see, you can now change the frame color and input background in addition to background and text color, whereas before you could only change the background and text color. As for font options, if you were to click that, you're then given this little scale where you can kind of like now compare and see how smaller font sizes compare to bigger font sizes. But just note there is a limit, so it only goes from 8 to 24 in the advanced form designer. You can also see this drop down menu again with more of the fonts. And as you can see, they also do give previews here as well, so just so you can get idea. I actually do like the variety of fonts on JotForm, so if you're honestly, if you honestly do have the time to like mess around with it, you should seriously check it out. They do have a bunch, some of which are really cute and could really benefit to your overall aesthetic of your business website. And that's all we really have to say about it. These are the two main ways on how to change the font color and size and anything to do with fonts and words alongside a little bit intro on background color and color schemes of your jot form hopefully this helps you better manage your data collection and thank you so much for watching our videos be sure to like and subscribe and if you need any more help when it comes to jot form check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below see you next time